Pershing friends. This is Miss McFadden and it was such a beautiful day out today I decided to go out on a dig and I wanted to bring you along. The, there's three rules though if you're going to go out on a dig. The first one is to ask your family where it's okay to dig. You don't want to dig up mom's or grandma's or dad's or grandpa's favorite flowers or plants so make sure you ask first where you can dig. The second rule is after you are after you are done digging, you have to refill in the holes. You can't leave holes in your yard or somebody might get hurt if they walk and step in your holes. So be sure you fill in the holes. Rule number three is you have to wash anything that you brought out to dig with so that you, you, they can be clean. So make sure you have some soapy water and wash. So first I want to show you some of the things I brought out. So if you're going on your dig, you're going to need some things. <sighs> You're going to need something to dig with. Look, I brought out some spoons and a rake and a little trowel and a big shovel. You can use anything you can find to, to dig with. Something else you might need is something to put your dirt in once you dig it. Like maybe some old pans that mom or dad or grandma or grandpa says it's okay to use. Or you can just use some old tin cans after you've had your supper. Then. You might want some toys to play with. I brought out some Legos and some air, an airplane and a helicopter that my grandson loves to bring out when he's digging in my yard. And then don't forget to have a bucket of soapy water and a towel so that you can clean up when you're finished. So let's start our digging. I think I'm gonna start digging with my trowel. That's a funny looking shovel. I'm going to start digging with that and see what I can find. Hmm. What, what might I be able to find? Sometimes you can find worms. And I was wondering if I could find a worm in my hole. Sometimes the best times to find a worm is after it's rained. But when I was digging just a little bit ago, I found a worm. I wonder if I can find another worm. If I can, I'll be sure and show you. I actually, I found a big worm and a little worm, but they already went back down into the ground. Oh, we're, oh, I'm getting quite a big hole here. That's all right. I'm going to keep looking and see if I can find anything. Earlier, I saw some ants around here, too, but they must have known I was coming because they're all gone now. Where is... I was hoping I could find a worm. I see lots of tree limbs or tree sticks that are all ground up. That's because this is where my... I used to have a tree. Hmm... Well, I'm not finding any worms today. Maybe I'll find some another day, but I want to be sure and play. So let's see. I'm going to build my town right down here in my hole. Maybe the worms will come out and live in my town. I'm going to put this one right up here, and then I can drive fly my helicopter around my town. Oh, you know what? I was wondering, what could I do with one of these cans? Maybe I can fill it up with dirt. Let's see. I can fill it up. Hmm. Pat it down. It's always fun to pat it down. I'm wondering how many of these cans will fill my big pie pan? Let's see. Look, one big can filled one big pie pan. I'm gonna try the little can now. See what happens with the little can. <sighs> Let's see, I need one scoop with my trowel to fill that up. Let's fill up the pan. Oh, it's not full yet. I'm going to need some more. Again, I'm going to use my trowel to fill up the dirt. 
one trowel. There's two cans. Oh, it's still not full. I'm gonna need some more. One trowel. That's pretty good. I feel that took three little cans to fill up my little pie pan. I wonder, let's see, it took one trowel to fill up this can. I wonder how many spoons it would take if I used a spoon. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. It took six spoons to fill up this can, but only one trowel to fill up that can. Well, remember, well, oh, I'm gonna cover up my city. I'm gonna use a can to dig with. Did you know you could dig with a can too? You don't need a spoon or a stick You can or a shovel. You can use a can. I'm gonna cover up my city. Oh, now remember, if you, when you are finished, you need to put everything in the soapy water and wash your things. Don't leave anything dirty and don't take dirt into the house. That would make your family mad. That's all I have for today. Bye. Have fun digging.